Hi Cancer, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors Story Darlings. My tripod appears to be a little bit skew and I haven't really got a clue as to why. That's a bit better. Let's see how we get on with that. So my darlings, this is your What the Fuck reading for the 14th to the 31st. Yes, I know it's for two and a bit weeks, but... Um, I've got other readings that I really want to get done for you. Look out for your Christmas and New Year reading. That's going to be a week. That's going to be a week's reading. That's going to be, well, it's just over a week. Um, it will be from the 24th of December through to the 1st of January. Look out for your Law of Attractions readings. They will be going up just before the New Year. And lovelies, if you want me to do a comprehensive uh, reading for your star sign, um for the new year that's three energy cards for the whole year from different different oracle decks and then a spread for one card for each month plus a clarifier so if that's something that you would be interested in seeing on the site please let me know um in the box below just put nw reading or new year reading or whatever yes please do ours whatever it is i will pick that up i've only got five in the I've only got five, I think, so far where people have gone, yes, we want this. Um, so just let me know in the box below that that's... And it it will only be... Um, half of my lights are out. Oh, that's a shame. Um, it will only be um, those who... I get to say that they want the reading that will get done. Because I'm just not going to go into... I've got so much to do, as everybody else has around the Christmas period. But for readings and that, I really want to get a flavour of who's out there, who wants them and who doesn't. So, lovelies, this will be a fortnight's reading. And because of that, I'm doing it quite comprehensively. They are long, but it is to cover two weeks. So I'm, I'm using the Green Witch Tarot. I'm giving you three energy cards, one for this week, one for next week, and one for the couple of days um, you've got at the end of that. And then we'll clarify it with the Gaia deck and the Angels and Ancestors for Knowledge, Wisdom and Guidance. So my darlings, let's get your energy card out. I hope wherever you are that you're doing okay. And by the way, just in case anybody's asking, um, I do try to respond to every single message that is left. Um, even if you only get a love heart, a purple love heart that is, know that that is from myself. Um, I haven't got admin or anything like that. Whatever you see on the channel is what I do. Okay, darling, so for the first week, um, 14th to the 21st, you've got generations um, with the ancestors. Um, it looks like there are going to be um, some get-togethers with some generations, looking at generational issues, maybe looking at generational traditions, running up to the Christmas period, or running up to Hanukkah, or the solstice, or whatever it is that you celebrate. Um, but you are going to be looking, I love this card, looking at the ancestors and the patterns that the ancestors have forged in order for you to be here, in order for you to continue that journey. Whether you continue the pathway they have set or whether you continue with your own pathway, the ancestors and generations are going to come into play and I'm getting that the generations that have passed, the ancestors that have gone on before us. Please remember that we are the ancestors of the future. We really are. The moment we pass, we become an ancestor. And that can be for generations. So make your mark. Put your handprint on something. Make your mark with something. So the generations that are coming through know who you are. Know what you were about. Write a book. Even if it doesn't ever get published, 
write something, write a diary, do something that your ancestors have got that is tangible, that they can um, look at and look back and see what your life was about. But yeah, make your mark, make your mark. And then darling, your second week you have fire and passion. I'm getting that you are getting a download, that you have had an inspiration of some sort um, and you really want to surge forward with it and it's the second week. It's going to be the Christmas week where you're going to have time to think about, contemplate it, maybe put some of it into action by doing a bit of research on the internet or connecting with other like-minded people that are having similar ideas um, but your passion and the fire is going to kind of build momentum for that week and then for that little bit at the end we have mountain and strength you will be standing in your own power beautifully as we enter in to the new year massively standing into that beautiful power so let's get what started the what the fuck for you Facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. Oh, I thought one would flip them, did it? No. How's Kate's going to take their power back? Thank you. Your movement, your journey. Oh, let's take that one because it flipped. What you can do about the situation. That's what's out of your hands. Oh my goodness. That's the reconnecting to the true you and your outcome, Cancer. Thank you. So, my darlings, what started the what the fuck? Cancer, I'm getting, and I'm feeling really tired for you. I'm getting that you've worked immensely hard. Um, and I don't think that that's given up any momentum, but I think you're getting tired as you get older you're kind of wondering why it is that you're the master craftsman but you are still working so incredibly hard now this isn't just going to be around your pentacles around your career this is going to be something that's really hard work within your family life as well um and you could have been beavering away for a very long time but i'm getting that exhaustion has finally caught up with you so my darlings you have got the ace of chalices this is facing your fears and taking your power back you are just about to understand this this is a new beginning but it's not a love beginning it is love in the sense that it's overall love it's not in love this is you understanding that you need to love yourself first and fill your cup up and then when it overspills and you come into that energy it will overspill to other people and I'm kind of getting that that's what you need to happen you need to kind of loosen up a bit and understand that you don't have to offer your cup out if you don't want to you really don't you can hold on to that cup and let 
the natural overflow spill to those that you want it to go to but you don't have to offer it out if you're worried about offering it out or if you're too tired to offer it out or you're just not feeling it you're just not feeling it because right in behind there i'm getting that you've had some discussions with somebody maybe for an ultimate goal but different ways of getting there and i'm getting that you're bashing your head against a brick wall because the other person is set in their ways of whatever it is that they're thinking and I think you are either going to have to sow a seed and see whether it grows or not or just learn to agree to disagree and that is facing your fears and coming back into your power darlings um, and don't over process things just let things happen very naturally just take a breath and understand that once you have got your thoughts and feelings into check and you're filling your cup up with what it is that you want, the flow from that cup will naturally bring love towards you. It really will. So, darlings, um, the Earth Mother. Faith, this is your manifestation, your wish fulfillment. Um, male or female, I'm going to say here, because I've just heard that your wish fulfillment is you are drawing somebody towards you that will nurture and love you for who you are as you would like to nurture and love somebody else i'm not getting that this is a particular in love although fertility is quite poignant and there could be that you're manifesting a family or it could be that you're just manifesting that pure love um between two people and that can be pure love between a parent and a child between brothers and sisters between um, cousins between platonic friendships yes it can be the in love card but i'm kind of getting that you're too fucking tired unless this shows up um naturally i just don't think that you're looking out for it i think that what you're looking at is that um deep rooted love that we are all bought into and that we are nurtured with and if you've not experienced that i'm kind of getting that's that's the sort of thing that you are manifesting is that you want to experience that loving nurturing side of um being loved and comforted so darlings your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be you've got the 10 of pentacles now look in your ancestors your generation card this is a completion of family this is a completion that everything is coming together the bills are being paid there's a roof over your head you may have an older person that you're concerned about or they're coming to live with you there may be a younger person who is fledging and you're concerned about how they're going to cope but the family will rally they will come together around this particular issue they will show you a way forward that's a massive leap from the eight to the ten where you're hard working and then all of a sudden you'll find that other people are rallying around in order for you to take that much needed rest cancer so darlings moving on to what the fuck you can do about this situation I did chuckle when I put this down because I don't particularly like the King of um, Chalices that much. But um, I clearly heard someone say, get a fucking grip, take a day off and just say how you feel. Why are you withholding your emotions? You need to not just offer a cup not just offer respect and um, honouring somebody, sit at a table and eat with them. There's so much more to this than you are giving credit for. And I'm kind of getting that you may have withheld your emotions for some time. And that's why you've got the chalice cup has turned up. That's why the passion has turned up. Because I kind of got that maybe... Um, your passion has been a bit damp of recent times and I'm clearly getting the message. Just lighten up, take a fucking day off, think about it and then tell people how you feel. 
Tell people how you feel. Tell people you're exhausted. Tell people that you want to be loved and comforted. You've done enough of it yourself. Now's the time for you to start feeling that. That's not an excuse for you to hold back your feelings from somebody. That's not fair. It is not fair. So male or female, what you can do about this situation is open up. Open up. You don't have to offer your cup out to be honest about how you feel about something. Because you will find strength in this. You will find a way forward. And it may be that your family has just been one of those families that doesn't express things, doesn't show your emotions and feelings. But that passion, that fire that you've got within yourself, you need to start honouring that. You need to start working out what that is for yourself. Because if you really want this um, comfort, this love, you cannot expect people to give that to you without you giving something back but you will find the amazing thing is once you start putting love out there once you start telling people i love you i've got emotions for you i do i've got this for you i really care about you the strength that will come back from that will pay you dividends in spades it really will so darlings what is out of your hands at the moment you're feeling like you're out in the cold you're feeling like you're out in the cold. And I'm kind of getting for a lot of you, Cancer. You do tend to be really sociable people. Um, more so than some of the other signs. But really sociable. You do you do like your guests. You get togethers. Being around people. Even I'm even getting people watching. And because of the lockdowns and that, it's just not happening. And I'm getting that. If you haven't placed yourself out in the cold, you're just feeling the chill factor because it's just become too much and there's not a lot of people watching um, going on. There's not a lot of people to connect with. And also, Cancer, you tend to be quite tactile as well. And there's been that where we've been, we've been told, stay away from people, even if you're in a relationship with somebody but you don't live in the same household, you're not allowed to meet up to... Um, feel your passion so to speak um, especially in the UK um, you know and it could be that you're just tired and worn out and you just are feeling the chill of being tired and worn out from not having that interaction not having that ability to connect with people um, and, fa and I'm going to say your family I am going to say your family because I am getting that you feel isolated. Now, they're, they're taking this away from you. You're feeling isolated. There's nothing you can do about it. But the universe is lifting it up out of the way currently. So you might find that you'll have a few more visitors in the next few weeks regardless of any restrictions. So, my darlings... Reconnecting to the true you, the moon, really? You think? You think you've got a connection to the moon? Massively. This has a massive pull on the tides in this planet. Um, it's a truth or an untruth that's been illuminated, a pathway forward. Um, what stays in shadow, don't worry about it, needs to be in shadow at the moment, don't need to be dealing with that. What's illuminated, you do need to be dealing with and not distortions of what you need to be dealing with. You need to be dealing with facts and figures, my darlings, because right in behind that. And again, lovelies, look at this all doom and gloom. You're looking at these three chalices. It's almost like you're looking at three past things that is stopping you moving forward to a future thing. Um, you're pissed off up to the eyeballs. Um. Your reconnection in this, in this card, is to take note of who's at your door. And it's not physically at your door, it's metaphorically. So, take a look around you. Who's around you? Who is there? And I'm kind of getting that may, just maybe, this is the person that you're looking at. They're fed up with what's going on. And you're standing at the door going, look at me, look at me, look at me. Don't look at them, look at me. So this is how you're going to reconnect to the true self. So there's a couple of little stories there. Darling's right in behind the four of chalices. You have got the horned god. He's an advocate. 
He speaks up for everything in nature, for everything that doesn't have a voice. And he's clearly saying to you, have a voice. Have a voice. Say as it is. If you want this person to turn around and look at you, tap on the go, look at me. I've got this to offer. I want this. I want us to be around each other. I want to do this. Now, that doesn't have to be a love connection um, as in love. It's just a friendship that you want to... And I, I just heard the word rekindle. So I'm, it might even be somebody from your past that you're kind of like wanting to make a connection with. And darlings, reconnecting to this person, I'm kind of getting it might be an air sign. Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. Or if it's not an air sign, they have got air qualities where they can be quite brutal and cut things away that no longer serves them. But they're very intelligent, very intuitive. And they kind of get you. They kind of get where you're coming from. Because I kind of get... There's some of your, your, your little bit of damp rags at the moment. You really are. But this queen gets you. Male or female, they get you. Um, not as harsh as the king. She will nurture whatever needs nurturing she will she uses her intuition but she's not afraid of cutting things out and i think that's something that you've been afraid of doing is letting things go when you really should have done and it's all about having that voice having that strength to be able to do that but you will have this illuminated and as you allow that illumination to come in almost like the tide coming in it will wash over you and you will go yeah, I want you to look at this chalice and I'm going to speak up for myself. And yes, I know I've got this person in my life and I'm going to take a leaf out of their book. I am. So, darlings, your outcome. What the fuck is happening next? You've got the three of wands. This is you looking out overseas, either trying to draw something or somebody to you or actually going to something or somebody that is across waters, maybe to do with a project or a plan, maybe it's personal. But then you've got the Queen of Pentacles right in behind that. It's the Earth Mother again. She's in your manifestation. She is in your outcome. She looks over her kingdom knowing that she has offered nurturing, love, stability, um, finances, everything, and everybody in her kingdom has had the benefit of her knowledge, of her ability to wholeheartedly love and nurture, love and comfort. That tree, the roots run really deep for her. She has to feel grounded, male or female. This queen could be coming towards you. They could be in your life, but I'm getting they could be coming towards you to make you understand that you don't have to be exhausted in order to get what you want out of life and with the 10 of a Thames is right in behind that i'm getting that these two queens are teaching you an awful lot they have taught you to use your issues your problems that you've resolved and then use them to protect yourself because once you've dealt with an issue or a problem that becomes part of your toolkit becomes part of the circle that surrounds you because once you've dealt with the problem you resolved it you've got to the end of it it then becomes a toll that you can actually dip into at any point so when you've got the ten of a thames that is a completion card things are going to start smoothing over for you and then you're going to have the new beginning where you can cut away the fucking nonsense and start seeing life for what it really should be my darlings and i'm kind of getting the thing that maybe generationally you have been taught that no matter what you need to stay put you need to stay in the same situation that's not that's not what it's all about darlings you're not supposed to be exhausted around what it is that you're doing oh look at this the king of wands the king of passion king of fire he has been the instigator of projects and plans 
he knows what it is to have that ultimate deep down desire and then act upon it and what he's asking you to do man or female this is going to be a fire sign aries leo sag um he's got he's asking you look look at your passions look at your desires see what strength you can get from that because you can do this and i'm here to help you wave this magic wand if you want me to i can help you bring this stuff to fruition don't turn the, don't turn that offer down don't turn it down allow that to happen because i'm getting that your passion is not what you're doing your passion is elsewhere and you really want that opportunity to not only love and nurture but to feel that love and comfort from somewhere else and you've got her twice in the same reading she's in your outcome so allow that passion to come through start verbalizing what it is that you want start verbalizing how you feel to other people so we're going to get some clarification now for you Sagittarius oh sorry darlings it's not it's cancer oh just on Sagittarius and that was a long one as well sorry about that I don't know where that came from so yeah cancer let's get a clarifier for cancer for the current situation thank you Okay, so you've got the Eight of Pentacles has been clarified by the Queen of Earth. So you've got the King and the Queen out in the same reading. Um, the Queen of Earth, look at her headdress. Look at her headdress. This is the Queen of Earth as well, twice. This hard work that you're putting in is going to pay off. It is going to pay off. I'm not getting that it may be in your current situation, but it is going to pay off. Um, she has come forward. She has sown a load of seeds and she's watched them grow. She's got the bison at the bottom who roams across um, the plains um, spiritually in order to find um, that earth energy, that earth mother energy, to honour it, create it, be part of it. Um, so watch your seeds grow, darlings, because this hard work is going to pay off for you. So facing your fears and taking your power back for cancer. Yeah. You have the intuition card. Darlings, this discussion that you're going to have with somebody else where you're bashing your head against a brick wall and you're suddenly going to realise that is what's the point in these discussions? I can sow a seed, but I can't make you see my point. We're both trying to get to the end result, the same result, but we need to do it in our own ways. Um, use your intuition. Go with your gut feeling. I think your gut feeling is probably always already screaming at you it's already saying to you you're on hiding to nothing and you really need to understand that somebody is lost in their thought processes they are over processing now that could be you but i am getting an essence that that is them they are over processing the situation until they stop over processing they are not going to see your way forward. So use your intuition at the point that you need to. At the point um, where your intuition goes, don't do this. Just don't go there. Just don't go there. So darlings, your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, the Earth Mother, kind of clarify, thank you. The Ten of Earth, very earthy um, reading, Cancer. Um, Ten of Earth, this is a completion. You've already got it here. Um, so not only have you got your movement and journey, the bringing together of the generations to work for the same common goal, you've also got it in your manifestation. I'm kind of getting that you really do want this love and comfort to come from your nearest and dearest rather than a love interest yeah 
So lovelies, you have got the one of water with your ten of pentacles. That's a clarifier. This is a new beginning, darlings. This is um, a new beginning. This is this card here. You got it twice in the same reading from two different decks. This is you understanding that you need to fulfill your heart as well as fulfilling the family's hearts. And by doing that, you need to start being honest with people. It's a new beginning, a new start, a new way forward for you to actually verbalise what it is that you want. And add to that beautiful cup about your desires, wants and needs, rather than just dealing with other people's. So can I have a clarify for what you can do about the situation, the king of chalices. Yeah, you've got the father. So he's like the emperor, he's like all the kings coming out in one go but you've got him clarifying the king of chalices now darlings you need to let something go and see if it comes back to you if it does it was really yours he stands very confident he stands very confident in knowing that if you let something go and it comes back to him it was supposed to be with him he's also the counterpart of the earth mother who you have out three times one two three you have the earth mother out three times. You ha now have the earth father out. You are massively protected by um, the spirit realm, by your ancestors. This is what they're trying to tell you. They are walking with you. Um, and by them walking with you, they want you to understand that you need to return that compliment by walking um, with your family members, with making them feel loved and comforted because... I'm kind of getting that people have got used to you withholding. And it could be that you've been hurt, that you don't understand the process. Perhaps you didn't experience love within your own um, biological family. Um, or, I don't, it's not even biological family, but the family that raised you. So, there could have been some sort of like distance between... Um, that kind of energy that stopped you from doing this with your family. And it clearly this reading is saying to you, just sow these seeds, start saying it, start saying I love you, start appreciating that the family are coming together to lift this tiredness away from you, to stop you from feeling out in the cold quite as much. They are working really hard on your behalf to try and make you feel... If you are a woman, they're trying to make you feel like the earth mother. If you are a man, they're trying to make you feel like the father, like the emperor, is what I'm getting. That's where your strength is coming in. That's where your passion is coming in. So, what the fuck is out of your hands, the five of pentacles? I'm going to clarify it, please. Queen of Air. So you've got her here. That's the Queen of Air there. The one that I said to you that she cuts things away. She's really intuitive, really intelligent and all the rest of it. Um, and I do get that there may be a reconnection there to an air sign. But darlings, if you are taking time out in the cold because of what's going on, that's that's fine. Um, don't let yourself get too chilly. Make those connections, even if it's just on FaceTime or whatever. But this Queen of Air, she kind of swoops in with her wisdom. And you know what she says is the fucking truth, but you just don't want to face it at the moment. Um, that's going to be lifted up out of your way. That This is being lifted up out of your way. There is going to be a connection, and it could be... That it's an indirect connection to this queen.
that is turned up in your reconnecting to your true self. I'm kind of getting that this queen is very relevant in your life. And I'm kind of getting that you feel that that queen is a missed opportunity. Get this a, a missed opportunity. Because it could be a queen or a king. Don't forget that. It's just that when you get the king energy, they are commanding, demanding. When you get the queen energy, they are more understanding. The queen of a famous, she's a little bit more cutting. She can be brutal at times. But she is very intelligent. She is very intuitive. And she can be extremely kind. She really can. Um, especially... If she knows that nurturing somebody is going to bring them along and understand that they need to rid themselves of issues and problems. So your clarifiers for your reconnecting to your true self. Knowledge, you need to get a knowledge base together. I kind of get that you've got bits and pieces all over the place, but you haven't quite turned that knowledge into wisdom just yet. And that's one of the things that the um, universe is trying to say to you is this moon will illuminate what it is that you need to do. But you are going to have these chances very soon with the one of Earth. Very earthy reading, Cancer. The one of Earth, again, is planting seeds and watching them grow. This is around family, this is around career, this is around money. Just watch them grow. And it could be that the knowledge that you need in order to make this seed grow... Is what's in front of you on this table but I'm getting that that knowledge is within you you know you know this you know this you've been thinking about this you've been toying with this idea and you may have made it um, very romantic in your head um, but I'm also getting that um, When you make something romantic in your head, it's not in reality. And you need to get yourself very grounded in order to deal with this. Now, I know I keep saying this is earthy reading. You've got a lot of water in this reading, and you are water, obviously. But when you put earth and water together, what happens? Things grow. Things grow. So I get that you need to be grounded, earth yourself out in order to understand... Um, the ancestral patterns, the way forward, what the ancestors are trying to whisper to you. And I'm getting this intuition of yours is heightened at the moment. It really is. But I'm getting that you may be boohooing some of the um, suggestions that are fleeting across your head. But I'm getting that in knowledge, you can see the pathway back to this person. But the universe is saying, listen, you're too fucking cold. We're, we're going to put this on the pathway for you we're going to take it out of your hands and deal with it so yes yeah, so this new lovely new beginning is coming in as well as this one over here so darlings this is your outcome as i said looking out towards um across seas either going to somebody or something or drawing them towards you the earth mother again nurturing comforting the completion so, my darlings, you have the 12 of Earth Essential. This creature is very loyal and um, is in service of the king. Beck and call, all the needs under the sun, does it, does it, does it, to the detriment of their own needs. Be careful with this. This is slow movement. This is slow movement towards your needs. And you need not to do that. You've got the queen there. You've got the central here. If you are in service of somebody else, no matter how, you kind of justify it to yourself. You are not just... You aren't... You're justifying what you're doing to yourself, but you're not honouring yourself by looking after you as well and being loyal to self. And I'm kind of getting that that's maybe why you've closed off is because um, you are just in this situation of being in service to somebody else. And it has fucking drained you. 
it has completely drained you. Look at the earth cards you've got on this, honestly. One, two, three, the earth mother, four, the king, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I'm even going to say the horn god, twelve. There is 12 earth cards and the ancestors as well is earthy because we return to the earth when we pass. Gosh, can you just, honestly, and in your outcome, you'll clarify for your outcome, it's about this service, this service serving you. That's what I'm getting. And then in comes the king of air. So male or female, it could be your queen is turning into more commanding, demanding. Um, it could be that you've got a friend around you as well that is an air sign that will get you to see things from a different perspective and will help you cut the shit out and understand that you need um, to be nurturing your thoughts, your feelings, your processes in order for you to be completely and brutally honest about how you feel because while you're standing in the king energy of the water signs you will be wishy-washy and i'm kind of getting that some of you may even have um air within the first three things of your birth chart or maybe in your north node but there is something going on with this air with these air signs that are saying to you come on we're swooping in we're giving you the wisdom you need to look at this perspective um, of something else where you're looking after yourself so you are able to then accept that somebody else wants to look after you for a change understand with the two of air that there's good and bad in all of us there is good there is not so good there is downright evil in some of us but if we bring it back into balance there is really no gray areas you are you you are both sides of you um but bringing it into balance understanding your chakras you see that lovely um scales there is in balance you are bringing your dark side and your light side completely into balance um and that comes with a lot of experience it comes with um being able to express yourself now you've had this twice in the same reading and what you've done is, out of the two decks, you have gone from having this discussion, trying to get somebody to see your point of view, to coming into balance with the same card and understanding the difference of the two sides of you. And it is the difference of the two sides of the same communication, the same conversation. And it is understanding that you may have to learn to agree, to disagree, even if it's with yourself. Even if it's with yourself. So darlings, the last clarifier of your outcome is integrity. Whatever you do is be true to you. Lay things bare for yourself. Use your knowledge, your wisdom, your speed, the fluidity of a situation, but be true to you. Do not let yourself down rather than other people. So at the bottom of the deck, you have the five of air. This is about removing that mask. We all have masks. Hold on, darlings. We all have masks for different situations in life. We have a mask at work. We have a mask at home. We have a mask to the doctor. We have a mask for the milkman. Doesn't matter. We have these masks. And what this card asks you to do is remove the mask and just be you. Just be you. Do not try to be something that you are not. So let's move to the angels and ancestors and ask for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance.
Anything else for cancer? They're a bit bloody sparse, aren't they? Right, three more shuffles and then we just have to take the two that fell out. One, two. No, they don't want to give you any more. So the first one that fell out, and I did smile, it says let go of the need to be right with the peacekeeper. Whatever that means to you. Hermit, retreat and recharge. Darlings, that's your reading, 14th to the 31st of December. Love is wherever you are now. I love and appreciate you doing this journey with me. And I really want you to be safe. And I will see you in the Christmas readings. I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye.